Welcome to Lost Media News. I am Lava Canyon and I will be covering five pieces of lost media and one piece of found media. Come to Papa. Come to Papa was a sitcom that aired on NBC during the early 2000s. It's about Tom, a struggling reporter who aspires to be a comedy writer and leave New Jersey. The show did very badly and was cancelled after four episodes. There were also eight more episodes made that never aired. Neither the four episodes or the eight unaired episodes are available. All there is of the show is this two minute clip. What's the story with that guy? Oh, that's Tom. Um, he's a little, you know, slow. <laughs> Hollywood Hypnotics Hollywood Hypnotics was a planned Game Boy Advance game based on the Animaniacs during 2003. The game is about the brain's plan for world domination. Waiting for the Animaniacs to leave the water tower, he plans to convert it into a rocket in order to place a satellite into space that will transmit a sound of a barking dog to every house in the world, keeping everyone awake and yelling at each other to keep their dog quiet. While the Animaniacs are in the Warner studio, Brain distracts them by hypnotizing the actors to believe they are the characters they play. Swing Entertainment, the publishers, went under and the game was cancelled. There are screenshots and box art for the game, giving a good idea of what the game might have been. Zack Tales Zack Tales was a live-action educational television show that aired on CBN during the 90s. The show stars Zack, a puppet and mayor of Funtown. He helps and educates children with his sidekick, Killwari. There are 13 episodes. Not too much more is known about the show. The picture you see here is the only picture of it at all. Gorka Morka Gorka Marka was a cancelled racing game for the Dreamcast and Windows. The setting was going to be based on the tabletop game Warhammer 2000. The game is a car battle royale with up to 32 cars crashing into each other. Online was planned as well between Dreamcast and Windows. The game started production during the late 90s and was cancelled by the end of 2000. We don't have much for the Dreamcast version, but we do have a demo build of the Windows version of the game. It's New Year's Eve, Pocket Monsters Encore. During December of 1997, there was a planned hour-long TV special for the Pokemon anime series. Not much is known about the contents, but there was a two-hour Japanese-only special released at the start of 1999 with a similar name that was mainly a clip show. So it is likely that this one would have been a clip show as well. It is thought that it may have been cancelled due to the planned airing being just after the Electric Soldier Porygon episode, which was a heavily controversial episode with a scene causing epileptic seizures. If clips from that episode were featured in the New Year special, that could be a reason for its cancellation. But it being so close, maybe it was cancelled from the controversy around Pokemon at the time in, in general, I suppose. A piece of lost media I discussed about a half a year ago has been recently found. The Nintendo browser game Upixo Mission in Snowdrift Land has been found, kept inside Extra Toxic's own archive. Extra Toxic is the creator of the game. This is the original 2006 version. The 2010 re-release has still yet to be found. But for now, you can still go into the archived page and play the original in its entirety, as well as the download for the promotional wallpapers, ringtones, and icon files unlocked by completing levels.
The unidentified section of the Lost Media Wiki forums is a place for users to post media that they remember but can't confirm the existence of. Here is the most interesting one from this month. Puppets with Yellow Faces I watched a puppet show when I was very young, probably five or something, about four characters. There was a boy with blue hair and yellow skin, a girl that looked exactly the same but with purple hair, a girl giraffe who was pink, I believe, and a male giraffe who was brown. I remember a certain line from the theme song, Uno dos tres, quatro quinto says. Bear in mind that I lived in Spain at the time and I didn't know how to change the language on the TV yet. I also remember a few episodes. The girl was showing a blank piece of paper to everyone and claimed it was a bunny, as white as snow. The male giraffe got over his fear of fireworks. The two people characters got into a fight. The girl dressed up as a lion. The two kids pretended they were superheroes, and there was a song in that episode. The last detail that I remember is that the show was on Clan, a channel that gets lots of its content from Nickelodeon. Also, I was born in the mid-2000s, so I believe that the show would have been between these years, 2007-2011. This post was made by Strawfield, a Spanish television show, or maybe a show dubbed in Spanish? If you can find something that fits this, post it in the comments and I will pin it. The original post can be found in the description. That is the highlights I could find this time. If there is a notable event that happened recently that you think should be mentioned next time, make a comment on the latest Lost Media News video, it will help out in multiple ways and check out the Lost Media Wiki. If you're aching for more Lost Media videos, there is a video of 5 Not Safe For Life Pieces of Lost Media by King Spook.